through the burning fire to the ghostly figure watching above and to the left to Johnny Punk. What are you up to, you clown? Who you calling a clown? You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Okay guys, I am super excited tonight. I am in Roswell, New Mexico. I have been out exploring with the aliens. Uh, check out my other videos if you wanna see what's going on. We did the Roswell uh, UFO Museum the other day, and then I made a separate video of the gift shop. Lots of awesome alien stuff in there. But then all of a sudden it went from 80 degrees to 27 degrees. So I am in the house tonight. I got the fire going back here, and I am about to watch a new video I am so excited about. If you guys remember, Every single time I went to uh, Spirit Halloween last year and saw Johnny Punk, I kept saying I wish somebody would make over Johnny Punk and make him an awesome prop. And somebody has actually done that. A channel by the name of K&T Do Halloween. Uh, this guy makes over a lot of the props from Spirit, and he finally tackled Johnny Punk. I'm so excited, and I'm going to watch this with you guys right now and give you kind of a reaction to it. Um, this is my first time seeing it. I started watching it the other day, and then I just thought, you know what, I've got to do a reaction to this. So I'm probably going to skim through it so you guys can go to his channel and uh, and watch it for yourself all the way through. It's like a 20-minute video, but... Uh, yeah, let's just get down to it here. Okay, so we got Johnny Punk set up here like it's the interrogation room. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at this. If it isn't the infamous Agent 2020, AKA Johnny Punk. Agent 2020. Or should I say HTJ Halloween? Well, what about the worst Halloween prop of 2020? The worst <laughs> Halloween prop or of 2020, that favorite. is for sure. The worst spirit Halloween prop ever. Agent 2020, I think it's time for a change. Take him away. You threw him in a trash. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> hey y'all, what's up? And welcome to another video. The time has finally come. We're finally gonna do a makeover on Johnny Punk. So starting with the sitting prop, I wanna go ahead and put him on a tombstone, about 36 inches tall. Okay, I that's cool, you'll sure put him on a I tombstone. I put a nice crack in his clown mask. I wanna dress him up like a punk, so a leather jacket and some spikes. I also think I wanna incorporate a spray paint can in his hand. I definitely He's gonna soap up the whole punk whole thing, shoes, you know, it's not just a hoodie and some, something like that. what are those shoes? Tombstone, as well as distressing his jeans, maybe some new boots or skeleton feet. Finally, some graffiti and the water mister just to be extra. First thing I have to do is take this hot mess apart. Okay, now let me pause this for a second and just say what I always thought would be cool with Johnny Punk would be if he was like a jump scare prop where, you know, even if he had his same stupid voice and then he actually jumped up at you and I always thought that it would be cool if you could make it where his face would split open and there'd actually be a scary face behind it. I thought that would be totally awesome. I don't know what this guy's gonna do, but I'm so excited, so let's just keep going here. Now that I'm officially another week behind, let me show you what I've so done. So this box here so must be I've gone ahead what's gonna be and the headstone that he's gonna sit on. Cut up the base. This is a tombstone form that I had left over from another prop. It was stored up in our attic. I've reinforced the inside, so I've added another layer of two inch foam under the top, as well as some support pieces. That way I feel it'll have enough support once I bolt through the four inches of foam as well as the plywood top. Now that I have the prop placed where I want on the tombstone, I'm just drilling through the wood and foam and using five inch bolts to attach the base of the prop to the top of the tombstone. I'm fairly confident that this will work. Oh, wow, you guys did a great job. Super fast too. All right, now that looks cool. Fantastic. We can move on to some of the other bits and pieces and we can detail this later on once we have the legs and body attached and ready to go. 
These are a pretty iconic piece from the original prop. Aside from the costuming and his mask, I would say these are one of the things that most people remember the most. Shout out to that Nate guy on YouTube. What are those? I don't <laughs> want to fully repaint them. I will embellish them, but I don't want to lose these because these to me are kind of going to be the homage to the original prop. And of course, black nail polish. What thinking about doing is using a prop shovel that we have and maybe putting that in his hand, freshly holding the shovel that he just dug up Johnny Punk's grave to steal his feet and shoes. Kind of where I'm going with it. This is gonna be a full on overhaul. This looks like a mask that is painted to look like somebody's face is painted like a clown, so why is he wearing a mask? Also, as with many great spirit props, this mask and sculpt has a ton of awesome texture in it, so I really wanna bring that out because this paint does nothing for it. Let's get to it. So I'm going to start by modifying the legs. Those two banana looking chips on the top of each one are my attempt at bone sticking out of the top. Moving onto the hands, I cut one hand open to fit the shovel. Okay, so I gotta say, I didn't quite understand what he was talking about a minute ago, about the whole digging up the grave to get uh, Johnny Punk's feet and his shoes. But as soon as he started doing that, I could tell that he was making like bones there, like his feet have been cut off. This is gonna be pretty awesome. Let's keep moving here. In the side of the face. I then take it outside, base the back with black, and paint the front with white. And a Jabberwocky mask. This is what I wanted to talk about. I wanna put a skull that sits behind this face. That way I can put two eyeballs in there, and that way you see something from behind the mask. I think this will work really well. Smooth move. Now moving on to the painting. This is gonna be awesome. I love how you're gonna be able to see the skull back there. Now moving on to the hands. I'm first starting off with those black fingernails, and then I'm going through with the airbrush and just spraying in the shadows and darkening the edges around the gloves so the seams aren't as noticeable. Painting the bones an ivory color, base painting the bloody areas pink, red, and magenta, adding some bruising before going over with my flesh tone in the airbrush. A bit more bruising with the airbrush, and here's what they look like. Like before blood. For the mask paint job, I want it to resemble Johnny Punk. I still want to be able to see that when you look at the mask. So I'm starting off by going in with the nose and around the mouth with red. I mean, this thing already looks 100% better. Once the red dried, I used black to outline the mouth area just to make it pop and look more like the original prop. I then added some diamonds and some dots around the one eye that didn't have the crack and then went back over my eyebrows. Now I'm going to do a quick paint job on the base of the shovel. I'm just adding some rust with some orange latex paint. Okay, look how cool that skull face looks over there. This is gonna look so awesome behind Johnny Punk's face. I love the bones coming out of the feet. I'm now adding the shoelaces through the holes I created in the top before going back in and adding my favorite perma blood. I'm now attaching the foam skull to the faceplate. I use hot glue to hold it first and then use liquid nails to reinforce it around the edges. I'm now going in with a small brush and some perma blood. I'm painting all the surfaces of the skull with a thin layer of perma blood just to add some shine and contrast between the flat mask. I also wiped off the teeth because I really want those to shine through. It's such a creepy smile with that eyeball showing. I'm drilling a hole at an angle that the water mister will poke up through as well as the electrical cord for the LED light that's going in the spray can. Okay, I gotta say, before we even go any farther, I've made Halloween uh, props before, and I know this is an enormous process right here. So I, I can't even imagine how long this actually took him. Um, I think in the beginning he said there was a week uh, between the time that he actually took Johnny Punk out and started this before he even started on the headstone. So that headstone right there probably took a week in itself. But all right, let's keep going here. This is turning into way more of a production than I planned. I think we're almost there. Once I started setting up the prop, I decided to add skeleton feet and I just zip tied those to the leg supports first. I used a hook attached to the tombstone to support the shoes and then added magnets to the tombstone and the shovel to help hold that. Finally, I dragged this bad boy outside for some detailing with black spray paint just to tie everything together. And then I went back through with some perma blood under the severed legs and across the front of the tombstone.
And here's the finished result. One of the most requested makeover props to date. I think we finally fixed the worst Halloween prop of 2020 and maybe of all time. This one was such a challenge, you guys, and honestly, I ended up having so much fun on it. I didn't think creatively I could really get into this, but I think working the water mister in, changing up from a swinging prop to the seated prop, and then adding a lot of those detail elements that bring the people in closer to look at the prop will make that water mister much more effective. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover video. I had so much fun doing it and I'm so glad to be back. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. It makes me smile and lets me know you guys enjoy these videos. If you're interested in seeing our next video or makeover prop, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell if you want to be one of the first to know when we post a new video. Thank you guys so much again for the support and for watching. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really had a challenge here and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think he looks pretty freaking cool. Here's Johnny. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what movie that's from. Remember, if you create it, they will come. Let's check out the new Johnny Punk. Definitely a hundred percent better than it ever was before. Such a good job making over this prop. Make sure you guys go over and watch the whole video on their channel. Again, the channel is KNT Do Halloween. I'll put a link below if you guys want to check it out. Awesome job making over Johnny Punk.